Learn to go for your first hike in eight easy steps. Brought to you by North Carolina's Year of the Trail. Step one, find a trail. You don't have to quit your job, drain your bank account, fly around the world, load your last remaining possessions on a mule named Franklin, and risk your life trying to summit a 28,000 foot mountain just to have a nice hike. In fact, there are over 2,500 trails right here in North Carolina. Use one of our trusted tools, like the Year of the Trail page, all trails, or reach out to a local outfitter. But be selective where you get your information, as location tags online can often lead people astray. Eustonia, North Carolina. Now that you have the right info, think about what kind of trail you want. Is this your first time? Maybe not the Iger today. If you live somewhere hilly, elevation can drastically affect your hike. Think about who else is coming on your hike too. What kind of hike do they want? How fit are they? Nobody likes being sandbagged. We're not going any farther, are we? Step two, be prepared. Just like the Boy Scouts say, be prepared. Stuff like a small headlamp and a compact first aid kit are always a good idea. But that doesn't mean taking all that stuff. Are you preparing for a hike or a fight with a zombie? Take what you need, but be realistic. Full climbing rack? Probably not for the greenway. That? Just, uh, just put that down. You're, you're gonna get hurt. Being prepared also isn't limited to what you bring. Check the weather, have a plan, and leave it with someone you trust. Hey, I'm gonna go on that hike we were talking about last Your night. Your plan should include two times. It's like eight miles. One, how long it should take you. Shouldn't take more than three hours. And two, when they should you know start to worry. Going, right? Make sure you tell them where your car will be parked right. and what to do in case of an emergency. If you don't hear from me in like, I don't know, six hours, call the ranger. And make sure they're listening cool. too, right, to like all the details. If you plan on using your cell phone, make sure it's going to work. Make sure it's charged and make sure that your maps will work offline. You don't want to be, you know, that guy. Oh yeah, and bring water. Cool. Step three, snacks. Snacks deserve their own category. Bring snacks. Bring more. But bring more than that. Ever met somebody who gets hangry? Chances are, there's one of those hiding somewhere in your group, waiting for the perfect moment to strike and ruin your day. Now I'll be fine. I don't need snacks, I'm fine. I don't really get that hungry on the trail. Oh, I had breakfast. No, I'm trying to lose weight. Just bring them a snack. Do you mind bringing some snacks? Step four, do not lose your keys. Losing your keys is the difference between a nice hike and an all-night epic looking for a tiny piece of metal in a massive swath of wilderness. That's a great place to not put your keys. Nope, don't put them there. Or there. There you go. Put your keys in a zippered pocket that you will not be opening throughout the day. If it has a leash, that's even better. Step five, pick a good playlist. There's nothing on this playlist. Exactly. Nobody wants to hear your garbage. Just listen to the sounds of nature. That's why you're here after all. Step six, leave no trace. You've found a trail, you've prepared yourself, you told a friend where you're going, and you've put your keys somewhere safe, right? R right? Got it. Okay, good. Well, look around you. The birds are chirping, the air is clean. Wow, it really doesn't feel like the city. That feeling, that's no accident. All the people who came here before you, they took their trash with them and they stayed on trail. Those cool rocks, they could have taken them home to keep them for themselves, but they left them there so you can enjoy them too. And you better leave it the way it was too. Public land means we share it. It's not yours for the taking. Leave it better than how you found it. Step seven, be nice, say hi. There are nearly 8 billion people on the planet. They have different interests, different opinions, and different values. So just think, those people at the trailhead, think how much you have in common. You both decided today is the day to come outside. Say hi, be polite, make up some generic statement about, it's such a nice day for a hike, and don't let your dog jump all over their dog. Oh yeah, and clean up after the dog and the little bag. There's no trail crew to come pick up the little bags afterwards. Take it home. Step eight, set your expectations. So what if it rained, you got a blister, and you ran out of food? Look at what you learned for next time, and think of all those things you saw. Those birds, that cool tree. One day you'll look back and laugh that you lost your car keys, didn't bring enough food, and assumed your phone would work, even though this video told you not to. But remember, it's always a great day to get out on a trail.